Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the I was told to read tag. So this was created by Lien's library. Am I saying that right, or is it Lena? Because I feel like I may have been saying her name wrong every time I've said it, and it's kind of embarrassing, but we're just going to crack on. So yeah, and uh, there are eight questions, and we're just going to go through. I, oh, I have some books. Let me, um, let me hold these up for the thumbnail. Not in this order, but whatever. Here are some books. Question number one. Name a book you've been told to read by more than one person. So, people actually usually don't tell me to read books because, <laughs> because they, they know how many books I read. And I guess, like, I don't know. My mum, for example, wouldn't tell me, oh, you've got to read this book because she'd be terrified that I'd rip it apart and then, like, judge her for her, her, her book taste. But, no, in all seriousness, one that I did think of is Christopher Vogler, The Writer's Journey. This is non-fiction. It's... It's the local gangsters going past there. Um, so this is mythic structure for storytellers and screenwriters. It's basically... Well, it was one of the required reading books for my university course, and I never read it. But I got told to read this by about four different uh, like lecturers, so I'm finally going to get around to it. Question number two. Name a book you've been told to read multiple times by the same person. So, I actually couldn't find a specific book for this, but my friend Nick is constantly telling me to read H.P. Lovecraft, and I still haven't read H.P. Lovecraft. What is wrong with me? I know, it's terrible. Because I know I'm going to love him as well. So I should probably get to this soon. This is The Tomb and Other Tales. I basically, like, I'm just going to start looking out for all the Lovecraft books I can find at charity shops and just get them all. Question number three. Name a book that was given to you by someone because they wanted you to read it. So if you've been, like, because I've been running a book blog for like five, six years or so before joining BookTube. So I get a lot of requests from people who want to send me their books, whether it's the author or the publisher or a publicist or whatever. So basically, any free book that I've been sent for review could count for this one. The one I picked up, because it was the first one I saw, was Rebellious Spirits, Audacious Tales of Drinking on the Wrong Side of the Law by Ruth Ball. And uh, I do really want to get to this soon. It sounds really interesting. It's literally about alcohol, so... Yay! Question number four. Name a book that always pops up in your online shopping recommendations. So, this one for me is a real struggle, because I have no idea, I don't pay attention. In fact, I think a lot of the time they even get filtered out because I use Adblock. What I'm going to do, maybe if I go to Amazon real quick, I've actually unplugged my keyboard to plug my microphone in, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, ease of access, on-screen keyboard, there we go, all I need to type in. I'm going to go on Amazon and just see what the first book is that gets suggested to me. I guess I get my own books recommended a lot, what have we got here? Recommendations for you in books. Okay, well I can get that because it's up here. Okay, so the book it is recommending to me here is The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. By the way, isn't beautiful just one L? I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> I guess it's recommending this because I recently bought the box set of all 80 of these, but surely it should know that I bought the box set of all 80 of these and not be taking the time to re recommend individual books that it already knows I has. That's weird. Should we try Goodreads as well? See what Goodreads gives me. Goodreads.com. Go on then. This was Adonis Murdered. Hilary Tamar Book 1 by Sarah Cordwell. I can already tell I wouldn't like this based on the way the, wor the blurb is written. Reduced to near penury by the iniquitous demands of the Inland Revenue, young barrister Julia Larwood spends the last of her savings on an art lover's holiday to Venice. No, not my kind of book, mate, I think. Question number five. Name a book that was used as a comparison in a blurb on a book you read and liked. So, I recently, when I was in Berlin, I read The Talisman by Stephen King. And uh, what this says on the back is... Uh, in a novel as extraordinary and as unforgettable as The Lord of the Rings. So there we go. And actually they're about the same width, only this is just a fellowship, so you know. Question number six. Name a book one of your favourite authors recommends. So my most read author is Terry Pratchett. So I googled uh, Terry Pratchett favourite books. And it turns out before his death, it was really sad by the way, I cried at work when I found out he was dead. But before his death, 
he did like an interview where he talked about his favourite book of the last 10 years, and he actually picked out one that's on my TBR, which is Bill Bryson, A Short History of Nearly Everything. So, really excited about reading this now. Question number seven, recommend some books. Okay, so I could be here all day if I did this. So what I'm going to do is a cop out. I'm going to say check out my Q1 and possibly my Q2 recommendations if that video is out by now. Um, or if you want the top books of each of those two, best book of Q1 was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Best book of Q2 was The Martian by Andy Weir. All right, and question number eight, tag some people. So I'm going to do what I always do in this situation. I'm going to go down some people who've recently commented on my videos. I'm going to tag them. So I am going to tag... I'm going to tag Leslie Cardix, Bruise and Reviews, Super Pow, Cats and Camera, Amelia Root, Todd the Librarian, Anthony Andrews, Time for Books, and Hannah Tay as well. On that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.